Yeah, this hand looks like a keeper for sure. Usually I don't like keeping these cryptic commands, which is why I have a the split for the the dissolve. Instead of the four cryptics, I have the two two cryptic four dissolve. Because the cryptics are dead till turn four, but the dissolve for sure are, are dead till turn three, which I have three lands here. Uh oh. This looks like scape shift. Four snares too many. Cut two of them for more snaps. Second logic knot could be a Tassiger. Definitely think we need two of some kind of pyroclasm substitute. Two drowning star might be good. Okay, hold on. We want to play Delta just in case he plays some kind of turn. Two mana cost anything. Okay, the four spell snare. Before I had the out of the four spell snare, it was three spell snares for a mana leak. A mana leak was the fourth spell snare, basically. But yeah, I do see four snares is uh, too many. But many decks run a four of spell snare because spell snare hits your Tarmogoy, spell snare hits your scavenging oozes, spell snare hits the what like mana leak, spell snare hits not spell snare, uh, remands. Spell snare just hits a lot of things in modern right now. Okay, Supreme Verdict. So, but I'm down to go to three, maybe. Okay, play Colonnade here because we can't do anything for two mana. Three was my, I like playing three, four is too much, but now I kind of like the feeling of having four. And for more snaps, I was thinking about getting the third snap, the third Snapcaster Mage instead of a fourth, uh, Instead of the fourth spell snare. And the second logic knot could be a Tassiger. The thing about Tassiger is uh, I've already added Gideon because actually the reason why we don't have we don't have a creature's main board except for the Snapcatcher Mages, which are in my opinion I just feel like uh Okay. Uh oh. So did, did they just have the combo here? Did we just die? It looks like we just die here. Uh oh. So Tarmo Twin. Hmm. I know for sure this will be remanded or cryptic command, but it's worth a shot. To two split of snare and dispel. Main board dispel is very strong and very annoying to me right now. Lightning bolt and grounds. But yeah, that is a thing. A main board dispel. I already have a run of main board negate. Just for matchups like uh, like this right now against Tarmo Twin. Take a three. But the reason why we don't uh run the, why I don't run Tassiger is because uh. Tassiger is a creature, and he turns on their removal, which this deck, Iceberg Control doesn't really want to turn on their removal, especially because. If you don't have a creature on the field. Their abrupt decays do nothing. Their path to exiles do nothing. What else? Well, all their removal does nothing. Oops. Here we want hollowed fountain. No. Okay. Now we just hope he doesn't have the nut. Tass and Tasker, I had to. If I want to completely play Tasker, like most decks play him turn two and stuff like that, uh, I would have to change the whole deck completely. 
another thing is that I don't want to tap out during my main phase for anything, literally. Because right now, my whole hand, five out of six of my... Five out, of, five out of six cards in my hand are instants. Except for this Supreme Verdict is uh, that and the lands. Snapcaster Mage, Spellsner. Oh, Spellsner gets Snapcaster Mage as well. That and Supreme Verdict. Wait, hold on. Dispel. See, there's the main board Dispel you're talking about. Here, dude, Logic Knot. One, two. Okay. Supreme Verdict, the Lands, and Gideon Jura all come in, uh, have to come in during my main phase. But everything else, I can play my whole deck at instant speed, which I really like. And I think it's a. Uh, I think it's necessary, actually, that you can play the whole deck at instant speed. Ghost Quarter. They have their double red for whatever's. Play that. Supreme Verdict does come out. In this matchup. But the two Drowning Sorrows? Honestly, the, the sideboard's already crowded as it is. It's really hard to fit anything into, the si into my sideboard already. Because, uh. What's my sorry? What's my sideboard? I used to have three Thought Seasons, but I'm not down to just one Thought Season and a Surgical Extraction. I have Thought Seas, Surgical Extraction, Dispel, Dispel. Let's see, pass turn here. So now we just draw a go. Three, four, five. Do whatever. Yep. Ah. <sighs> this is a good matchup. We need Esper Charms. Sphinx is not really good. Or pull out. And play anything at the exile. We'll discard a Sphinx. Where's the S for charms at? This is pure magic at its this is magic at its finest now. Magic at its finest. Okay, well, we're waiting for good old someone to pull the trigger real quick, and I'll do it. Discard two, please. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I love Esper Charm. When it turns down to just draw go, both sides of the board just draw go. Splinter Twin, Splinter Twin. Whoa. That's extreme. That is extreme. Is he just looking for creatures? What a game. I shouldn't have fetched there. Oops. So this is pure magic now. One two three, one, one two, one two three, one two three, two three four. Pure magic. Four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. All right. Uh. Tarmo. Snare. <laughs> what a match. What a match. Bolt my face, yep. Nope. Not allow that. This is magic. that top top man one two five six seven if only had one more land I could have cast both these cryptics here oh well he's letting me untap nice that's the turn. I'm glad we're ahead on time here. Think twice. Now, this game is difficult just to tap mana. 
do that at the end of your turn. Thank you. There are a lot of good cards now. Hmm. That one. And that one. Gideon Jura, but this time for real. Let's see, one, two, three, four, that's a cryptic, one, two, three, four, another cryptic, and one spell snare. Or I could do one, two, remand, one, two, remand, one, two, logic knot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or Bell Pierce. Uh, sure. Yes. See, does he play his thing now? Receiver. And say that. Path receiver. Yep. Ah, sorry about the game, guys. But this is a. Uh... Esper Control versus Tarmo Twins is how it looks like. Bolt, yeah. Does he have two more bolts? So he has two more Splinter Twins in the yard. Urborg is good. Gideon stops there. Infinite attack. Especially with all this. <laughs> what a match. What a match. Where's the removal at? Let's see it. He has one more bolt in hand, actually. Sure. What a game. I'm really getting hungry, so... I think after this match, not, I mean, this round, this turn, or this game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off. Because I'm super hungry. I'm tired drawing and going right now. Oh. Colonnade.
he can't win because his creatures have to attack Gideon. If he makes infinite Deceiver x or whatever, creatures have to attack Gideon. x -Arc. Sure. That. Uh, sure. Tonight's playing his Exarchs. These Splinter Twins, I'm okay with. And we'll just Gideon Jura. Attack Gideon Jura, please. Illegal attack, illegal attack, attack Gideon. There you go. Gideon's 13. Nice. Think twice. Oh, that's good. Path. I'm okay with whatever he does here. Uh... Snare that. I don't want him to draw cards. Yep. <sighs> what a match here. Oops. I want to keep as much blue man as I can open. Declare attacker. So this is what modern Esper draw go does. Basically, draw your land, draw your card, play land, go. Draw a card, play land, go. Draw your card, go. Alright, we sideboard. Ugh. I already don't feel like going into a game too. I'm super hungry. But I'll just do it anyway. Okay. I do have sideboard plans though. Okay. Bring in the thought seas. The extraction, the dispels, and disenchant. No, I don't feel too keen on the disenchant. Supreme verdicts, the remands, roll like that. Mm. Meek's good. White's and Zenith is bad. Elspeth is good. Let's see. The fairy's good. Taking out. Think. Think. Submit deck. Okay, let's go into a game two. It's a good hand. Really good hand. It has high mana cost stuff, but it does have the snare in the path. I really don't think we need to shock ourselves here. Uh. Tarmo twin. Actually, we should have. In case they pull out the Tarmo Goif. Uh oh. Well, we have path for that anyway. Let's see if he does it. Uh, it does look like a Tarmogoyf's coming in. Tarmogoyf, stay out of the game, dude. Yep. 
a resolved Tarmogoyf. Sure. Actually, yeah, I'll do it now. I don't want him to untap and be able to respond to our exile. Our path, I mean. Pass the turn. We have snare up. Maybe we can get into this Elspeth's range. We need to draw into some lands. We need cryptic open. Land, ghost quarter. In my draw, Vidillion click. Uh, sure. Yep. He could possibly take negate or cryptic out. I don't think either either of these either of the, one of these three cryptic's pretty strong some boards of Esper control run two vindelian clicks in the sideboard Instead of there, yeah, curve the command. We drew the island. Do ghost quarter, last turn. Instead of there, uh, thought seizes. Yep. Hmm. Do this for watery grave. Does he have the nut? Looks like he does. Hmm. That's good. Think twice here. Thoughtseize. How bad does it want to protect his hand? Is that? Just that? Alright. It doesn't it doesn't look like he has the combo. Cause so I feel safer now. Way safer. Let's write this stuff down. Bolt. Bolt. Dis. Hmm. 
I think I want to do it now. No? That is upkeep. Well, Sphinx had his upkeep. Because he's untapped anyway. They can untap, upkeep, but before his draw. Because I want to do it before. He can bolt, bolt, and dismember. But he also has a mystery card here. And there's a bounding crisis. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 damage to us. 8. Do 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. That's exactly. Hmm. Flash into Fairy. So, he has to play cards at sorcery speed. I'm gonna let the bounding crisis happen. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Gain three. What? Oh. Gain three, please. Now we're on the play, so Thoughtseize is way better than being on the draw with it. Yes, play first. This hand. Ugh. Could get us there, actually. We just need to draw into two more lands. Think Twice will help us with that. So what I should have done was... Not flash into Teferi. But until after the Bounty Crisis resolved... You learn how to play against this matchup better. I paid the two here. Think twice. Nice. Because I need the black for consume the meek. Cons consume the meek's a uh, double black. So I really need to be online. Path. Wonder if you'll remand. Nope. You'll take the land. Tap my mana right. Blue, white, blue, white. There we go. Discard two. Yep. This spells out of his hand.
So that prevents his Vendillion click, but he'll do it on his turn though. It's a fairy of his own. Supreme Verdict. Ugh. Wrong. This one. Discard two, please. I'd rather if he plays something right now, I can dispel it. And then he'd have to discard two. Crit the command and electrolyze. Sure. So whatever is in his hand must be something super good. He'll get my Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage. You can take off the Bolt Bolt this. Now he's on time right now. Ooh, Elspeth. Alright. So we're taking three here. Scrying. Top, top. Uh oh, that's not good. Hmm. Think twice now. Clock is pretty low. Can't do anything with the Desolate Lighthouse. Because it'll just draw, then discard. Whatever card it doesn't want. Alright. Wasting his time, so he needs to hurry up. Yep. Yep. Alrighty. It's nice. Shall we play now? Uh oh. Oh, there's the win. He topped the Splinter Twin. No. Well, that's what happens when you play against this deck.